So after a settlement is created, we can go ahead and enter it by clicking on the three dot and clicking view with also the option to delete a settlement. However, you can only delete settlements that are in the unlocked state. So right here, you can see the little green unlock icon. After we complete the settlement and lock it, it will be archived and not be able to be deleted. The other thing to note is you may notice that the uh, dates here look a little different. That's because my computer is in mountain time, but I selected it to be in central time. So load call will automatically do any corrections and display it in the uh, time zone that your computer is in. But uh, these are the correct dates for a central time based uh, settlement. But if I go into here and click view settlement, you'll see that there are quite a few different tabs. It's a little bit reminiscent of the invoice system where we kind of go through this process, but uh, it's a little different. So we'll touch on the differences in here, but you'll notice that it just calculated my initial settlement data. So it took all of the tickets between uh, February 1st and February 15th or 16th, and it's gone through and it's calculated how much income you have. And you can see that we had an invoice amount of 29,000, but we're paying out 24,000 because we do an 85% payout. You can see that there's 118 tickets. And then you can see some of the other withholdings, recurring withholdings, other withholdings, fuel receipts, any additionally due and et cetera. So up here on the summary tab, you can see that we can change the settlement name if we named it incorrectly in the beginning or we need to change it. You can see the date the settlement was created, who was created by, and then the bill period and the uh, way that we calculate our withholdings. And then within each of these subcategories down here, you can see you know additional information. You can see the different breakdowns between recurring withholdings, the number of one-off withholdings, subtotals, uh, and et cetera. And you'll notice that the columns here, this is the uh, total column, and then you have the uh, total right here, the subtotals, and then the inactive column would be any withholdings or other things that are applying to carriers that don't have any tickets. So these may be inactive and you need to kind of look at shutting some of those down. So you can see we have a case with that in here. But uh, the other thing to note uh, down here at the bottom is we have a series of refresh buttons. So if you hover over it, you can see what will be refreshed by clicking on the button. You can refresh the entire settlement, which redoes tickets, withholdings, fuel cards, etc. So this one kind of takes a while. But if you only want to refresh part of it, like the tickets or fuel receipts, withholdings, reimbursements, active equipment, recurring withholdings, et cetera, then it, there are these options to uh, refresh just parts of a settlement if that's what we're working in. But uh, that's the summary page. So we're going to jump over in the next segment to talk about some of the next tabs.